morning is from John's Gospel and marks the beginning of Jesus' mission. Unlike Mark, Matthew, and Luke, this Gospel does not begin with Jesus' baptism, but instead begins with a wedding, where water once again plays a significant part. Jesus has called his first disciples, Nathaniel and Philip, again different from the disciples named in Synoptic Gospels, and they accompany him to a wedding in Cana, along with his mother. The story sets the tone for how John will tell his, his Jesus story by using metaphor to attempt to convey the nature of God met in the Jesus of Nazareth. This wedding story is often seen as a foreshadow of Jesus' death and resurrection. John begins the story by saying, On the third day there was a wedding. It suggests that this wedding in Cana is also about new life or resurrection, as Jesus begins his work as an agent of God, reading from John 2, 1 to 11. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine gave out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you or to me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now, standing there, were six stone water jars for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water. And they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the steward. So they took it. When the steward tasted the water that had become wine, he did not know where it came from. Though the servants who had drawn the water knew. The steward called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then the inferior wine, after the guests have become drunk. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this, the first of his signs, in Cana of Galilee, and revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks.